Hi everyone, I go by the name of Murder She Wrote. I'm the owner of Murder Report Now underscore via Instagram um, blog. And I'm here today to give you all a daily rundown and a daily re recap of what transpired during this week. So, first and foremost, make sure you all follow my new Instagram at Murder Report underscore. Um, I'm not going to hold you. Let me take these joints off because this... It's throwing me off, and it's time to get real. So, <clears throat> now tell me who she was. I'm in that type of bag. <sighs> so, we all know OJ's home. OJ's home. It's about time. Like, he served nine years for taking back the shit that belonged to him. Like, imagine someone coming into your home telling you, okay, you did all of this for your country, you did all of this, and your certain years of working hard, and you earned all of these valuables, and then we're going to come to your home, knock, 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 like Jehovah Witness, and invade on your territory. Okay? That's basically what happened. And take all of your belongings. So, OJ, he, he, he was locked up for nine years for stealing his own shit. Okay? I ain't gonna get into that. Y'all, you all know what happened, what transpired, what happened. I, I'm mad I keep trying to use these big old words, you know, because I'm trying to show y'all school much. Yes. So, um, Tokyo Tony, Black China's mother. Yeah, that eye roll, I meant that from the soul. Um, Tokyo, Tokyo China was on Instagram joking around, allegedly. Um, stating like she wanted to spend some quality time with OJ after serving nine years. She's like, I ain't gonna do nothing strange for a piece of change, but I'm gonna give you some of my time. Like, basically, she wanted to be in his presence, you know? She wanted to bunny hop, she wanted to see what that thing be like. To that thing up, mommy make it roll. Uzi, Uzi, shoulders, you know? Um, so Wendy Williams spoke about that, so... Which, when did that happen? Like, two weeks ago. So, this week, Wendy Williams spoke about Tokyo, Tokyo, China, saying how she wanted to be with OJ, and, um, then Tokyo, China said that she's gonna serve Wendy, and she's gonna sue her for defamation of character, and she was only joking, and she spoke via Instagram, she was crying via Instagram, just sitting there crying, don't even know why she's crying, and, um, then... Blah, 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 hoopity hoop. Let's get to this. Wendy versus 50 Cent. Y'all ready for this? Because we all know he's the king of the petty. You know that new song, Petty? I like that song. Um, 50 Cent not only made headlines for his new show on BET after having a hit show via stars, Full Power, you know. He, he, he dabbed on dabbed in his little comedy bag, as you might say. He grabbed and nabbed a couple of Instagram sensations, Instagram stars, and he put them on a show called 50 Central, and it's now on BET. Check your local listings for that. Um, so, Wendy Williams spoke in regards to 50 Cent, and she stated that he needs to get his life together in regards to him acknowledging his eldest son, Marquise. So, everybody knows that story. So, 50 Cent felt like, mind your, mind your business. You know, 50 don't like nobody talking about him. He don't like bad press. If you give him bad press, he's going to get in that, in that queen's bag. And he's going to show you how you give, a, give it up. Like, he's going to be beyond petty on social media. He's going to hurt your soul. He's going to have you sitting, rocking back and forth like Ebony and Players Club in the bathroom. You feel me? So... He's basically going for the jugular. So he posted um, a picture of Wendy, that photo that went viral of her on a beach with a bikini. So he posts that and he goes, I didn't know as an adult you could still shit on yourself. Basically saying her panties was hanging off her backside because <laughs> she ain't got no backside. So I love Wendy. I love Wendy Williams. Let's be very clear. Granted, you know, she got a little messy, but this is a job. Some of you all getting your feelings too much when we speak in regards to you all's favor okay but when we speak about the ones that y'all dislike then it's like yes sister on each child yes give me life you know so moving right along so 50 cent basically ridiculed her embarrassed her told her to mind her business worry about her her cheating husband because it was in, in the news that wendy's husband was allegedly cheating but i'm not going to speak about that you know so 
speaking of BET, although I heard, you know, mixed reviews in regards to 50 Cent show, you need somebody like me on there. You get what I'm saying? I heard some people saying it was whack, some people saying it was good, like, you know, I haven't watched it. So, speaking of BET, we all know the Hip Hop Awards aired on Tuesday. Cardi B shut it down. She got respect from everybody. Luke was out there like, come on, baby. Miami 305 was in that building. You heard when they was like, look at the thing do or big booty hoes. What is it? Hoochie mama. I was like, look, see, that's how, that's exactly what, what my reaction was. You hear me? So Cardi B was getting bigged up. She won the um, Hustler of the Year Award, which is good for her. When she performed, baby, when I told you, I was like, okay. I felt like I wanted to cry a little bit for my girl Cardi. Because, you know, before my first page got deleted, like, she was, um, she was, what can we say? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? She was a supporter of my blog, you know? She followed it. Basically, if you follow my blog, that means you're a supporter. If you hit on my blog, you're a supporter. If you click like, you're a supporter. If you just watch my Insta stories, you're a supporter. So, Cardi used to follow me. She used to be very um, active on my blog. So, I'm going to always big her up. And I'm always going to feel like this is taking a heart due to the fact I'm from New York. So, when she was performing, like, I'm the hottest in the street. I know you probably heard of me. Got a bag of picking. I was in here like... You know, so um, Eminem was also a big talk of the week. He dedicated his whole BET in the booth. We all know how BET Hip Hop Awards do. They do the ciphers. And B, um, BET nabbed Eminem. And Eminem, his whole freestyle was a basic fuck Donald Trump. And the whole social media went in a frenzy, including myself. Because he killed that whole freestyle. I'm not going to front, you know. Detroit was in the building heavy. Slim Shady. That was Slim Shady. That was Eminem. That was Slim Shady. Top five. Dead or alive, you know. So then that caused, like, mixed reviews. Because some people were saying, oh, as soon as a white person says something. Or a person of other descent and color speaking regards to Trump. Then it's like, all oh, hail the world. Basically, like, um... Eminem basically said the same shit that we've been saying. This is what someone said on Instagram. A few people said that. And then YG from the West Coast, you know YG, like, fuck Donald Trump, fuck Donald Trump. He spoke about that. He said, I've been yelling, fuck Donald Trump. I ain't get as much acknowledgement. Also, speaking of someone that didn't get as much acknowledgement, but they got ridiculed via Instagram and social media, was Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka went on Sway in the Morning, and he said that he is not black, he ain't Negro, he ain't colored, he is Native American, his background does not have any African descent. So, me personally, to each his own, stay woke. Whatever your preference is, that's your preference. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. He did make valid points. Just like some people um, pointed out that Kendrick Lamar said the same thing on his latest album, Damn, and he was like, oh, all hell, Kendrick. But him, Waka Flocka, his delivery was wrong. That's what most people are saying, saying including his own wife, Tammy Rivera. She said everything that he stated was correct. This is for the people that stay woke. But if you don't understand it, like blah, 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 hoopity, hoopla, hoopity, hoopla. Me, personally, it is what it is. As long as you ain't standing up here cooning and buffooning and no Tommy Lorner, like, you know, standing behind her and yelling out, hail Trump, then it is what it is. That's my whole take on it. Um, also, speaking in regards to social media, oh, baby, when I tell you there's so much that went on on social media this week, this is crazy. I don't think I've had enough time. They talking about Nelly raping people. This is my whole thing. Here we go with another another one. Another black man that they want to see Brent Brown down. I ain't in the mood. Because that's what we're not going to do. Let's talk about Greg Kelly again. But I ain't going to go there. Hmm. Google. Google it. So they talking about uh, um, Nelly. Nelly um, allegedly was accused of raping this young lady on his tour bus in Washington, D.C. Although we all know Miss Jackson be right there on his right side. Don't nobody want to hear that. Straight tripping on his bumper. So, anywho, they, this young lady stated that Ush, um, Nelly, I keep saying Usher because it was his birthday. Happy birthday, Usher. Nelly raped her on his tour bus. And then, today, October 14th, she said, 
I want to disregard my um her whole claim against Nelly being her whole accusations in regards to Nelly is getting hot in her raping her because he's too big of a celeb and she can't take the pressure but they also stated earlier in the week that the young lady wanted fame and fortune so now she can't handle it because she's receiving death threats and all types of things of that nature I don't know how I feel I don't trust nobody I don't put nothing past nobody so if I just don't believe it. I'm sick of this. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Usher, Nelly, who else? Like, they're going to say Tupac rose from the dead and was giving out AIDS at 89. Like, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm done. Just like I don't want to hear about Alexis Skye being pregnant from Fetty Wap. Like, you and Masika are fighting a never-ending battle. Like, uh, uh, his eyes on a sparrow type battle. Because the nigga ain't with neither one of you. First and foremost, secondly, both you hoes sat up here and took photos. Oh, look at my sonogram, sonogram. And then nigga Fetty was nowhere near. Like, don't nobody care about no Fetty Wap? Fetty whole, um, Trap Queen royalties is going straight to child support. This nigga been out for, like, um, 2.5 seconds and then had babies in the midst of his one-hit wonder. Like, don't nobody want to hear that. Then Birdman said, he gonna pay Lil Wayne his, his money. He, Lil Wayne is his son. Little bitty ass bitch. When he said little bitty bitch, a little piece of my soul died. I was rolling, you hear me? That Nene Leakes got fired from the Escape Tour. It's just comedy. But she did go too far, especially alleged, because she was allegedly raped herself. But that's my rant, and I'm sticking to it. My name is Murder She Wrote. Follow me on the gram at Murder Report. And out over and out oh yeah